Hello, it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna make kind of an updated version to this video right here. 13 small changes that I made to lose 21 pounds in December. I received so many questions on Instagram, also here on YouTube, so I just decided to compile 20 small changes that I have made to lose 83 pounds and hopefully 100 pounds very soon. Needless to say, I have lost a lot of weight. I've been keeping it off since I started my whole weight loss journey. I'm really happy. I just need to lose 17 more pounds and we are coming to the final, final come down now. So hopefully I can do it. And a quick disclaimer, these are tips that work for me. And from the last video, many of you really seem to resonate, really like it and just give me so much positive feedback so I decided to do an updated version with seven additional changes so let's get right into it <laughs> And thank you to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. More about them in a little bit. So change number one was to set guidelines weekly slash monthly. Now I'm the type of person, especially when it comes to a big goal, I love planning ahead because this lets me know that I need to focus in the direction that I'm going in. I don't just say, oh, I'm gonna lose 100 pounds and hope for the best. No, I need to lose this weight. I know I'm gonna do it. I'm very motivated, especially in the beginning. A lot of us could be so motivated. We have a new goal of mine and then midway through we've kind of lost focus we're not motivated we just think whatever no I knew that I'm not gonna let this happen so I bought a planner and I divided a hundred pounds by six months so I needed to lose about four pounds a week now some weeks yeah I did plateau some weeks I may have lost two pounds some weeks could be six pounds eight pounds like it just really depends like towards the beginning I was losing a lot more but now like as I'm really coming down closer to the 100 pound mark I'm not losing weight as quickly but because I'm looking on my planner and just seeing a lot of tidbits words of affirmation that is my number one love language so I'm just giving that to myself reminding myself in the planner that we could do it but I still have this outline of what I need to do so having those guidelines sticking to them and just having an overall basis of what you need is what really helped me so if you need good structure like me I highly recommend that you do that change number two is to eat healthy like this has to be one of the top changes that i made and when i say healthy i don't mean like fake me out healthy i truly mean healthy eating a lot of fruits a lot of vegetables and really watching the other foods that i eat so predominantly i do eat a lot of fruits a lot of vegetables i may have some snacks but not often i really watch what i'm consuming because i want to put life into my body and then occasionally if I go out on the weekends and maybe during the week, I eat fish and chicken. Like those are the two meats that I eat. Your body is your temple. You have this life to live. And I just say, treat it well, treat your body with respect and your body will thank you. I know a lot of ailments and problems with the body. Sometimes they can be prevented with the way we eat, exercise, all of that. That's a whole nother video, but treat your body well. And that brings me into today's sponsor green chef and their slogan is eat well cook often the easiest way to eat well and here i am ready to cook some dinner and i have my ingredients for tonight's dinner in this bag i can make tuscan white bean and charred soup jerk spice fried rice or the cauliflower and couscous bowls I decided to make the Tuscan white bean and charred soup and I really like these recipe cards because they're durable and easy to follow along. And here are my ingredients that I'm pulling out of the bag and I really love that Green Chef allows you to choose a plan that fits your lifestyle like keto and paleo or plant powered featuring all hand-picked and high quality organic ingredients. The ingredients come pre-measured, prepared and delivered right to your door contact free. I'm cutting the vegetables so I can prepare to put them in today's soup. And with Green Chef, you can enjoy fresh, organic, seasonal ingredients through their delicious recipes. Because Green Chef has pre-measured ingredients, it really helps save time with prepping and helps cut down on food waste. And as you're watching me prepare this soup, it's really that easy because the recipes only take about 30 minutes to cook and you have step-by-step -step instructions. I'm able to really enjoy this cooking experience because I'm still getting acclimated to cooking a lot more for my family. And here's how my soup came out. And I also have this multi-grain bread with crushed red pepper flakes. 
And here's Zanai and I enjoying the soup and the bread. So I really like that it's easy to maintain healthy habits with wholesome, delicious recipes every single week with Green Chef. You like it? And thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank it's tasty. And if you'd love to try these expert chef design flavorful recipes, then click the link right here. It'll also be in my description box. And use my code JeanetteJBeauty130 to get $130 off across four Green Chef boxes, including free shipping on your first box. Eating predominantly fruits and vegetables does not have to be boring whatsoever. And on to change number three is to get your friends and family involved. And maybe they're not just so interested or they're just not really giving you that vibe, that encouragement that you need and you really think is really gonna do it for you. You can have an accountability partner. So for me, that is my mother and one of my, like my best friends I talk to every single day. I love her so much. I tell her and then we always talk about fitness and exercise and what did you do today and this is so important because when you have your friends, family or an accountability partner, you can remind yourself like how are you eating, what's your diet like, did you work out today, are you going to work out tomorrow or you said that you were, how's this going, oh, one of my friends she's doing keto, a healthier version of keto so it's like how's the keto going, how is this working for you, does it not work or I saw these keto chips today and I thought about you, you want me to get it for you, it's just reminding yourself and also your loved one that this is important so just having that bounce back like i know for my mom we talk so many times every single day we do talk about our fitness goals and what we want i know she wants to lose 10 more pounds so for me it's like oh well how are you going to achieve that or what are you going to do or how does this look and i know even before when i was trying to lose weight and i kept saying i'm going to lose weight i'm going to start next week i'm going to start next week and she was like oh you know, this is a bit much, like when I was eating Cinnabons, like I was a mess, but I finally buckled down and got to it to losing all this weight. And it's just having that accountability to remind yourself, this is what you said you wanted to do, let's do it. There's no reason why you can't. And it's just really important, and not just in fitness, especially if you really want to see your vision come true, just having someone that's gonna hold you there, hold you true to your work. More so, it's going to help you achieve your vision faster and just really keep you there. So having those true friends and family are very important. If you have them, hold them tight. Number four is to buy small encouragement gifts. Now, I love gifts, even if I buy them myself, but it's a reward. Like, girl, you are working hard, you're doing this for yourself. Buy something for yourself that will make you feel good. Now, I'm not saying to break the bank or splurge and spend beyond your means. No, make sure that you are within your budget, but something that maybe you wanted, you've had your eye on, and you work hard, like you deserve it. And I will be the first one to tell you, I went on a shopping spree and I was just feeling myself. It just makes it so worth it. And I have been working so hard Many of you know I have four children and that within itself is a lot because we have extracurricular activities every day. Like even on the weekends we have games, there's tutoring, we have therapy, like there's so much that we do every single day and just making sure that I stick to working out also every single day, it's like yes pat on my back so if that's you and you're working very diligently juggling working out being a mom you have work a nine to five or you're in between or you're an entrepreneur whatever you are doing and you are working out you are making progress buy yourself something nice whatever you want to indulge in you have my approval <laughs> five is to follow accounts that give you inspo and motivation and encouragement now this goes across the board for all facets of your life but i know fitness losing weight or gaining weight it could be a challenge so following accounts that motivate you and inspire you to do better to continue on your journey please follow them for me this really helped because there are times where I was like, oh gosh, like, I don't feel like working out. I don't feel like going downstairs, but I know I should do it. I know I'm going to feel so much better after. I know I should be grateful that I even had the opportunity to work out, but you know what I mean. I was like, let me scroll on Instagram for 10 minutes and kind of get myself together while I mentally prepare for this workout. 
And so many times I would see fitness accounts and I'm like, yes, like they are doing it. So this is my sign. I need to work out, go downstairs, and nine times out of ten, I would feel so much more motivated just looking at that, just seeing how these people, they are consistent. Let's do it. And I would work out. And I will link some accounts that I really like down below in the description. I have come such a long way. Like, I want to make sure that I actually reach my goal. So seeing them... It's like a no-brainer. Let's just do it. There's so many accounts that have advice, whether you're looking for recipes, for different exercises, equipment, outfit ideas, so much inspo. So many accounts have really helped me. And change number six is to get apps to help you. So I have an iPhone, and I know that there's Android, like, it's something comparable. I have a My Weight, and I'll also have it in the description, but you record a lot of your steps. So you have your start weight, your current weight, the target weight, so it'll let you know your progress and percentage, also the time that you have. Also, you have your current statistics, like body fat, how much weight you lost, how much is remaining, and actual pounds, so percentage and pounds. And if you're obese, like what class you fall in, maybe underweight, or you're doing good for your height and weight, like everything is in there. There's a graph that you could see, like how you're making progress. And I really like that because I like to see, like I'm very visual and average how many pounds you're losing a week. And there's another app that I like called My Fitness Pal. So in here, you can record your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. And there's also other analytics that you could track. Also, when you sign up, you fill out a questionnaire so they can give you the right tools and tips and also they have like meals and different articles that you could read. There is even a section in there if your goal was just to sustain the weight that you are. So it'll let you know how many calories you need to eat a day and give you some suggestions on food and also working out what you could do, like the type of exercises. There's videos in here and every little bit counts. Just being mindful of what you consume, not only food, but also what you're reading, what you're putting in your mind, is really gonna help influence what you do. So make sure that it's for the good. Change number seven is lunch is going to be my biggest meal. Before it was dinner, and I noticed like towards dinner, it's a later and I'm not really active as much. Sometimes if I do work out, like that's if I missed earlier in the day, but I try not to work out late at night just because my energy is not there. And when my energy is low, it could be a struggle to work out honestly. And I don't want working out to be a struggle because over time I'm just, not gonna really want to do it and it's just gonna cause like an unhealthy relationship with working out and I just don't want to do that. I want to keep this up for the rest of my life. Not losing the weight for the rest of my life but just keeping a nice healthy weight and staying in shape, being fit, tone, all of that I still want to be. But lunch is going to be my biggest meal because I'm more active during the day with my children whether I'm going to pick them up or if I'm with the babies and we're out and we're running errands or we're at the park. So it just makes sense that my body is going to burn more calories during the day versus at night. And I noticed when I ate more at night I was sleepy and just felt like going to bed my body is just not really working for me in that sense so once I started having lunch as my biggest meal I feel a lot better I have more energy I'm more active I'm more prone to working out and just keeping that momentum going I feel a lot better all over mentally emotionally physically spiritually I feel so much better and it was like wow like why didn't I think of this early change number eight is to work out daily now I know this may seem like a lot but it doesn't have to be for me I work out on the treadmill for 20 minutes I do a walk but it's more like a jog and then an incline so the speed is at five to six so I'll start at a six and then after 10 minutes I'll go to 5.5 .5. And then after 10, maybe like at the five minute mark, I'll go at a five speed, but I make sure to raise the incline. So I'll start at a six and then go to a seven and then maybe eight, like in those three increments. So the speed will decline, but the incline will rise. And then I'll spend 10 minutes on strength training because I want to keep firm. I remember 
long time ago I lost so much weight I was 114 pounds but I wasn't toned so when I sat down I saw the fat flattened in my legs they just looked so flat they weren't toned they didn't have that definition and I did not like that when I looked in the mirror I saw fat like even though I was 114 pounds I was not fat by any stretch of the imagination and now I see a lot more definition because I'm taking the time to do strength training so 20 minutes cardio 10 minutes strength training so I'm taking those 30 minutes out of my 24 hour day to dedicate to working out I mean it's just 30 minutes it's not that long I don't watch TV I do watch YouTube and scroll on Instagram and I also work but it's just 30 minutes and I feel so 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 much better after I have completed it and then the next day I step on the scale and nine times out of ten when I step on the scale in the morning I weigh less and it's like yes we are so much closer to our goal it doesn't have to be an hour or two hour event change number nine is to eat more to get out of a plateau which is really surprising for me I thought it would be the opposite but there were several times at 260 240 220 pounds I was hitting a plateau and I was like why am I at a plateau I'm working out I'm eating right eating clean and I went out to eat to celebrate have a me day like my mom and I we went out had our mother daughter day and I went to a restaurant I ate the bread I had appetizer I had entree and I had desserts and I had a couple of drinks like <laughs> I was living and I lost two pounds the next day and I got out of a plateau and I was like Whoa. and that happened four times through this whole experience I don't really know how it works but I lost weight so maybe if you are experiencing a plateau as well eat a little bit more like still do what you're doing as far as working out all right so now I'm gonna be a little repetitive from the last video but I have a little bit of a different insight so stay tuned change number 10 is to have a positive mindset now this is so important even going into working out if you want to lose weight gain weight whatever you want to do in life and it's a goal of yours you want to achieve just have a positive mindset going into it do your research do everything you need to do so that you can be aware of some challenges that may arise and you know you do want to lose the weight like you are serious about this have a positive mindset so when times do get hard it's challenging you don't feel like quitting like you still know like yes it's going to be hard but i'm willing to walk this road i'm willing to do what it takes to lose this weight to keep it off this time just to be diligent to be healthier whatever you need having a positive mindset is going to change a lot especially how you look at such a difficult task but it's going to help in the long run especially those days where it gets rough and it's very hard you gotta remind yourself like we're in this to win <laughs> 11 for me is to get eight hours of sleep and as of lately i've just really been soaking up all the sleep that i can get i'm making sure at nighttime i'm getting around eight hours of sleep and i may take a nap during the day it does help me throughout the day just be more productive and especially when i do work out say i haven't worked out yet i just have that energy that power i just feel like a power mom like a boss also that sleep helps you recharge your body so i know for some people it may be seven hours like whatever you need for your body to get rest and for your body to perform at its most optimal get the proper amount of rest that you need for me it's eight hours and i feel invincible when i wake up and this is the type of feeling that i want to have it really sets the tone for my day like if i wake up and i'm not in a good mood then it kind of offsets and i know that energy could feed to my children and i don't want that so i want to make sure that i'm waking up i'm feeling energized i'm happy i'm optimistic i'm ready to go through the day with positivity and it really trickles down to them they're happy they're positive everyone is happy it's a win-win so i make sure that i am well rested what that looks like for you you know but make sure you are rested number 12 probably one of the hardest hardest changes that i had to make but it's to be disciplined and discipline is doing what you need to do even when you don't feel like it like there's so many times where i rather go out and pig out so to speak eat whatever i want but i know 
doing all of that in excess is not gonna get me anywhere closer to my goal and that's gonna be on me like you need to put in the work like don't be mad at the results that you didn't get for the work you didn't do i'm here i lost all this weight because i was so disciplined i was so consistent those nights and those days where i didn't feel like working out or i didn't feel like preparing to work out and then maybe having to wash my hair after change my clothes and then i have to do this and then i could go out i want to go here i want to do this let's just figure out what time in the day it will work so maybe i have to come back home after the game workout maybe it's going to be later i know for many of us we tend to use excuses or oh i had to do this or oh i had to do this so i didn't get to work out but yet we have the 30 minutes to watch tv the 30 minutes to just sit and just not really doing anything you keep doing it and you see results you keep doing it you're consistent you keep doing it you keep doing it and you are closer to your goals trust me you push through and your goal is closer and closer and closer 13 is to stop eating at seven now when i first started it was fairly easy because I was like yes I'm gonna lose 100 pounds I'm on this like we're gonna reach the goal in no time I'm gonna go shopping for new clothes soon like I was all in but when it was a reality I was like okay okay like <laughs> there are times where I did want to eat maybe at eight at nine but I'm like mm, no I don't think it's gonna be worth it and I adapted I just shifted my eating schedule so I was making sure I had my breakfast my lunch had my dinner and it just stopped and it made so much sense and I didn't feel as bloated or fatigued at nighttime because night I have so much to do whether it's working like editing content or getting my children ready for school or practices they have practices like my oldest, sometimes his practice don't end until nine. And my son, my second son, he plays baseball. And one ended at 9.45 and by the time we got everyone ready, it was 10 o'clock like at the field and it was a school night. And I'm like, really? Like we're playing until 9.45 on a school night? They're having fun as long as they could wake up the next day we're on time for school i'm good but stop eating at seven it just gave me this new sense of satisfaction and i could focus on why i am doing this now i'll be honest there are a few times where i have ate a little bit after like 7 30 8 o'clock like it's not the end of the world but just not making it a habit i'm keeping it real with you i'm not eating right before bed like that was the biggest takeaway from that like a lot of times we eat maybe we eat a full meal then we go to bed we feel full and just the body's trying to break it down and it's just so much that the body's trying to do while trying to be at rest and be calm and peaceful that wasn't happening for me i noticed more of peace and my body was more at rest when i stopped eating at seven and ever since then and that's what i have employed to my daily habit change and number 14 is to be more optimistic this one i think mentally is one of the biggest ones there's so many challenges that may arise through the day but i have to think you know let's not let this ruin the day <laughs> i could be the type of person to let maybe a few different inconveniences really challenge my day and I know that's not the best for me like I am blessed I'm truly blessed and this is not like toxic positivity but there is a line where I want to be grateful for what I do have to show gratitude but being realistic being optimistic all the time like for me is not always going to be 100% but it's majority and I want to make sure that I'm really being optimistic I'm thinking wow like I know I could do this and not to be so hard on myself like the saying goes you could be your worst critic ever there's so many times I would be really hard on myself when I gained all this weight back like 84 pounds back I was so, 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 so hard on myself, like the hardest I've ever been. And it did more damage than good. So it's like for what? So I had to make sure that I am being optimistic. I'm being 
grateful, I'm being thankful. And again, words of affirmation is my primary love language, just to love myself. Like we can't expect other people to love us and give us the attention and admiration that we want for ourselves and not give it to ourselves. Like it doesn't make sense. We could spread this love to everyone. I love it. I know when I go places and people are in such a good mood and they compliment you or they're so happy, you can feel that energy. And when people are down, just closed off and uh, you can feel that energy too. And it's like, Mm, you may not want to deal with that negative energy so by being positive you invite more positivity and I love it so I'm going to be more optimistic I've been being more optimistic and I feel so much better like being negative being hurt being down it's like this nasty cloud and oh like Mm -mm, mm -mm. 15 is to know your portion control size now this is very 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 important because it doesn't matter if you're eating healthy and you're eating right if you're eating an excess amount or you're not eating enough and your body is not getting that energy it needs to function properly so knowing your portion control size is so 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 crucial not to go overboard like i know sometimes we have a good meal some good food i love food like I love, love food, love Mexican food, like spicy food, Indian food, Woo. but I have to know my limits. Like I'm not gonna have three, four helpings of a dish because I love it. That's too much. <laughs> and at the same time, I'm not gonna have 200 calories a day. Like, no, you need to make sure you're eating adequately so your body can get the nutrients, the minerals, like all the energy it needs to function. 16 is to take a protein shake. Now I take the ISO Dimatize 100. I love this one. And the flavor cookies and cream, it tastes so good. No funny aftertaste. It goes down smooth. It's so good. And I keep buying it. Protein shakes, they help promote muscle gain and improve performance and recovery. So I'm constantly working out. So I just want to make sure that my muscles are nice and toned, like how I want. Like I do want a defined body or just kind of out of shape i'm very curvy i want to make sure that i keep this shape but i'm toned so i'm not flabby i just want to keep my body nice and tight also getting enough protein can really help support your metabolism and reduce your appetite and it's a win-win making sure that i have an adequate amount of protein also helps especially from food too so i'm not just relying on protein shakes for protein but getting it all around nutrition is so important 17 maybe a little surprising maybe not but it's to chew your food thoroughly i know it may seem like a no-brainer but hey i know before like especially if i was in a rush and i wanted to eat food or i was hungry and i was having a favorite meal or whatever the case is i'm eating i'm eating very quick i'm not chewing my food so because i was eating so quick not really chewing once it got down to my stomach and it was time to break the food down for the nutrients my stomach had a harder time doing so so i may feel bloated then i may get fatigued or have an adverse reaction like have some gas or whatever because i was eating too quickly also sometimes your body's trying to process the food like it's coming down so quickly and it just puts more pressure more work for your body to have to break those nutrients down maybe you may miss it and also you could get constipated i'm very regular but me being more conscious more mindful of chewing the food has really allowed for my body to react more favorably i don't feel bloated or like there's food stuck on top of my stomach and get cramps also you can get acid reflux eating your food too quickly i remember when i was pregnant i was getting acid reflux all the time just make sure you chew your food thoroughly and slowly like you don't want to just scarf all your food down like take your time <laughs> 18 probably one of the most important changes is to drink lots of water so i always have water bottles around me right Here's one, here's two. I'm drinking both of these. I know. One was frozen earlier and then this one was cold. But I'm constantly drinking water and water, it helps to flush out a lot of the toxins in your body. It helps with hydration, also with skin. Like I'm big in 
to my skin. I want to make sure that I'm hydrated from within and my body is functioning properly. If you don't have enough water in your system, your body is less likely to function at its optimal. I mean, I'm pretty sure that you hear this all the time, but it's true. It is so true. Anytime where I don't get enough water, I feel tired, irritated, easier i noticed that my skin it just doesn't have that glow my body is just wonky and i don't like that so i make sure that i'm drinking half of my body weight in ounces i find that at every single weight i've been half of my body weight in ounces have been adequate for me my body's like yes we could do it so make sure you drink lots and lots of water 19 a very big one that i had to break but i did it in Mm. is to stop eating at fast food and restaurant places all the time like I would go every day even if I was eating something healthier like still eating my fruit still eating vegetables because I'm so busy it's so hard for me to like think of a meal to sit down to go to the grocery store to do this do this with practice and trying to work with my children and it's just too much so it was easier for me to go to a chick-fil-a go to chipotle go to cheesecake factory go to pf chains go to shake shack go to panera wherever we were there i would choose healthier options so like salads and making sure that i got some green leaves not like iceberg lettuce but making sure that i'm eating pretty well like even still there's so many preservatives their food isn't the best like as far as nutrient dense wise really prepare what i'm going to eat and even having services like green chef that take the time and you still have your vegetables everything is accounted for it's so much more convenient like the meals honestly they do not take that long still knowing that they have a vegetarian slash vegan option for me i mean there's so many different dietary options it really helps it just makes life easier as a busy mom as someone who's trying to be more conscious of what they're consuming full circle but just making sure those fast food restaurant trips like they had to get cut out like period i think i may go out to eat now maybe like two three times a month but i just made sure that i just i had to cut it out <laughs> last change change number 20 is to have one sweet a day now i have a huge huge sweet tooth like i could eat so much candy chocolate all day long not get a headache not good in any stretch of the imagination but before i would eat a lot a lot of sweets <laughs> daily i laugh because i'm just thinking like how ridiculous it got i was eating cinnabons milkshakes ice cream even in one sitting like that's how bad it got but making sure now if i have a sweet it's one a day and that has been satisfying me and I'm so happy because before, like, it was so out of control. But now, I just tell myself, Jeanette, one sweet. Just to be on the safe side, let's minimize a lot of fat and foods that cause that excess unwanted fat. Hi. 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 My birthday's coming up. My birthday's coming up. Hey, my birthday's coming up. Yes. Oh, I love you too. You're the best little chica. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that being said, I really hope that you enjoyed my 20 small changes that I made, even though this is just an updated version. It may not be the easiest to do, but just think of your future self. Your future self will thank you for all the hard work, the dedication, everything you put into this. So I will see you on my next video. I really hope you have an amazing day. Like, don't forget, you are the prize. Don't let anyone tell you different. Don't forget to check out Green Chef. We're here. So I will see you on my next video. Bye.